Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day everyone. I am Puan Roslina binti Abdul Latif um, and I'm a Moab teacher teaching in SMKA Sultan Muhammad, Batu Berenda, Melaka. And today I would like to share with you my action research that I completed with my lower six students and it is entitled Lights, Camera, Action. Acting out scenes from films in reducing anxiety levels among lower six students. All right, let me just talk to you a little about my school. So my school is situated in Batu Berenda, Melaka. It is SMKA Sultan Muhammad, and um, it is only about 15 minutes away from the most iconic sites um, in Melaka. And something about my school, it is the only school offering the um, religious stream for STPM. So the students that come into Sultan Muhammad would be from all over the state, um, as far as Jasin Melaka or Alogaja or even further than that. All right, and then uh, I'd like to show you this action research that I did. Um, what was the problem that uh, sparked me into doing this action research? So these were the problems that occurred during my class. It is a common phenomenon uh, that students who enter Sultan Muhammad uh, would tend to be very self-conscious, very reserved and uh, very silent um, even yeah, very silent even during the speaking lessons. Um, oh yes, by the way, before I go any further, this picture is just for illustrative purposes only. These are two of my good students. Um, something about the speaking lessons. Um, when students tend to not speak in class, it's going to be something that's worrying because speaking is an integral part of the wet paper. The wet speaking test is a component of the um, Malaysian University English test. It has a weighting of 25% of the whole of the wet paper. So whether they like it or not, the students should be able to voice out their opinion in English in a very clear way. So what are my reflections of past lessons? Um, from past lessons, I have discovered that students tend to volunteer and orally answer questions more when, first of all, they feel less threatened. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, they feel less threatened in a sense that their um, ego will not be hurt. Um, they feel safe when they are speaking. The second instance where I see the students tend to speak more is when the general atmosphere in the class is more relaxed and more fun. So from these two observations that I made, I have embarked on um, this quest on finding um, what lessons um, what type of lessons that will be um, working for my students, especially for my, um, uh, for, especially for the speaking paper, um, because uh, it is very important for them to be practicing their speaking um, a lot uh, in class. So what are my research focus and research objectives? So this is my research focus. Um, it attempts to determine whether the period of silence during speaking lessons could be remedied by lowering the student's anxiety level. Second, uh, by making the class more fun with acting out the scenes from movies and also wanting the students to move about during the lessons and not to remain static in one place. And this is my research objectives. It is to investigate if adopting role play in lessons will reduce the students' inhibitions in class and also whether having fun activities will encourage the students to speak more. So who was my target group during this action research? So these are the participants. It is from my lower six by Dawi. Um, this class uh, is made up of 23 male students. Uh, upon entrance during this particular year, uh, the students were divided according to their genders. And it just so happened that I was teaching this uh, group of uh, young men 
And I felt that it is better for me to use them because uh, in my research, because um, I could uh, do this um, uh, research during my time in class and this would not interfere with another teacher's shadow. Uh, the background education of these um, students, um, they are all from the religious stream during their secondary schools. Um, this is um, the, the students from Sultan Muhammad who enter Sultan Muhammad. And the schools, the feeder schools that come to our school are uh, from the SABK school. This is the Skola Agama Bantuan Kerajaan or the government assisted religious school. Uh, this makes the, a huge bulk of the students here in Sultan Muhammad. And then we have a handful of them from the SMKA and SMK students. The language level for my students, I would say they would be from the intermediate and lower intermediate level to the beginner's level. Um, they tend to be very self-conscious during lessons. What was my research implementation? So with this group, I've decided to um, break them up into smaller groups of two to three to two to three students. I feel that smaller groups will encourage uh, more participation from each member. And the task that they need to do was um, given to them, um, printed out nicely and clearly so that they can understand exactly what I want of them. It was uh, for them to select uh, their favorite scenes from movies. I also informed that I did not particularly um, uh, uh, want them to choose English movies because it can come from any language that they want. For instance, from uh, BM movies, uh, from Bahasa movies, or even from the Korean movies. Uh, and also, um, I gave them ample time for them to write out the dialogues. So the dialogues were written in English, and then it was sent to me for checking, and then after checking, I returned it back to them and more time were given for them to practice. And then uh, when everything is ready, we had the acting out of the scenes during one of the lessons that we had in class. So a little bit about the task, I also created a challenge for them. Um, I feel like it is going to give them another level of uh, enthusiasm for them to do well. So I told them that their performance will be judged. Um, and I would be selecting three of the best groups uh, that uh, presented uh, for this task. And then this task was made more fun um, when I always refer to it as the fun speaking activity. I kept on repeating the word fun activity because I would like to reinstate the fact that um, they shouldn't take themselves so seriously. They shouldn't be so afraid and they should um, just relax and present themselves um, and be creative at that. Also, I have included the prizes that consisted of the party uh, packets of party packs chocolate. So this, um, although the value is not so much, but I could see that they were really enthusiastic in wanting to win this. And then the interesting findings that I found during um, this research uh, are these two things. It, it is that the participation by the students, it totally showed that the students were really serious in wanting to do well. Uh, it was evident in um, their effort in writing out of the, uh, in, in writing out the dialogue and also practicing and during presentation as well. And also, I also, uh, and also another thing that I noticed is the selection of movies. Um, the choice of movies were only from the Malay movies. Actually, I find this to be quite interesting and it was evident also that it uh, the students were very clear that the um, choice of scenes was um, fundamental in them winning. So most of them would be choosing from uh, iconic scenes from um, hit movies like Pascal and um, Police Evo. Uh, there were also about two um, groups that actually um, presented a scene from the um, legendary P. Ramli movies, um, which was quite iconic and quite fun to watch. Uh, and this is um, one of the choice of the iconic scenes of the movies uh, by the winning group. 
this is a movie. Uh, this is the reenactment of a very famous scene from the hit movie Pascal uh, by the winning group. It is also very heartwarming because um, I could see that the students who were very reserved in class um, actually were able to speak very well and present very well and even end up, ended up to be uh, the best team during that day. And what I learned uh, during this task is um, actually the students have it in them. It's only the fact that we need to um, get the right um uh get the right um um uh get the right things and get the right um motivation for them to actually speak up so what did i learn i have uh, among other things i have learned uh, these three things during my action research um, to reduce anxiety level in class as a teacher i would need to first of all instill the feeling of empathy um, among students um, as opposed to being judgmental so i would sh i should be reminding the students and instill the feeling that they need to be kind uh, towards one another, especially during speaking lessons. Number two is I need to remind the students to support one another during speaking. Uh, supporting would mean uh, giving uh, their 100% attention to what uh, the, uh, the other speakers are saying. And then also to reinforce the, uh, and also I need to reinforce the fact that corrections by the teacher is not a criticism on their part. Uh, it's not a criticism at all because um, the students would actually benefit in uh, the correction that the teacher made, um, even though it's in front of the class, because it's going to benefit not just them, but the rest of the class as well. So what is the direction of future research? I believe that as a teacher, we can explore more fun activities. Uh, that could be more authentic activities, for instance, that the students may engage in in their daily lives. Um, and that is all I think uh, I want to share with you. Thank you for listening.